So I've had a few people ask me, Jaws, you're in the Panther channel. Why have you not touched on the Bennett Marchand thing? Don't you have an opinion? Huh? Reason number one why I'm not touching it with a 10-foot pole. People are crazy. Maybe he sucker punched them. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't see anybody uh, making a big deal out of the three elbows to the back of the head Rodriguez took up against the glass a few nights ago. And apparently this just proves the fact that you're okay with there being that level of violence on the ice just as long as it's not with your players. fans here we go Panthers Bruins game four this is going to be a very 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 interesting beginning to this game now Montgomery has talked about it was his fault sort of for not having the right game plan for the team not responding to what happened with Bennett and Marshan uh, Montgomery just basically fell on the sword that I guess he placed it there himself we shall see. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm not a little bit concerned about what some of the Bruins players might attempt to do, but I don't think they're going to do anything as crazy as some of the people on Reddit are asking for. We'll just leave it at that. Swayman is in. I'm a little bit surprised there. Um, I'm not saying any of the, I mean, obviously he's the goalie, so some of the goals are, quote, his fault, um, but they must have really lost confidence in Olmark to go back to Swayman after two games in a row were kind of, you know, I mean, he got he got pulled, and then he allowed five more the next game. So I guess Swayman is the guy. Now over with the Panthers, the lineup is the same. Bubba is in. We'll give Bubba some – Bubba needs a little bit of pregame love. We've been trying to go without giving Bubba the head scratches before the games, but I think tonight we're going to need it. What are we going to see those first ten minutes? Well, we're liable to see Boston just going full-on balls to the wall. Whatever punch they've got, we're going to have to take it. We might end up behind 1-0, nothing, 2-0. One, nothing, nothing. Getting out of the first period, anything more than 2-0 could be a problem. I have confidence with the Panthers, though. I um, This team has kind of been there, done that the last few years. You know what I mean? We've had plenty of massive comebacks. We've had plenty of teams, even during the regular season, where we just kind of lallygagged through the game, and the other team was more than happy to try to beat the crap out of us because apparently we had the reputation now that we do. That's fine. I'm not going to sit here concerned if after the first 10 minutes it's 2 nothing Bruins. It was 4 nothing after 20. That's a problem. Bubba's going to have to be on, and I want everybody on the ice to have their head on a swivel. Again, I'm sure... I'm actually confident that the Bruins players are going to play physical. They might try to, try to take some extra liberties after the whistle, but I don't think you're going to see anything uh, overtly um, out to injure anybody. I believe that they are going to attempt to make their response winning the game, which technically is kind of the way it should be anyway. All right, let's do this. All right, so it's two, nothing, Boston after one. What did I say in the pregame, right? Not surprised. So Boston come out, and they're going to hit everything that moves. They get Reinhardt coming across, McAvoy. Reinhardt don't even have the puck. McAvoy levels them. Um, Boston decided to just punch Lundell in the face. He was just standing there. All right, are you, are you idiots done? Um... But the bad news is that in the last game, we outshot them 13-3 in the first period. And we had a 1-0 lead. Tonight, we outshot them 14-5 in the first period, and it's 2-0 Boston. And while I'm not going to sit here and say it's all Bob's fault, we got to be better than two goals on five shots. we got to be better than that. And, I, you know, the first one, okay, pasta alone, power play. All right, the second one, 
All right. Just stop letting goals in. Okay? Stop, Bob. We, we need you. We, we, we need you. Um, the rest of the way, we got loosey-goosey a little bit. We don't look terrible. We don't look great. Um, at 2 nothing. I still feel like we can come back and win this game. I mean, we outshot him 14-5. to If that continues, we're going to get pucks in. If, we'll see. I don't know. Swayman looks... Move on to second period. So now it's 2-1, Boston after two. First period ended up shots being 16-5, to Panthers. And two non-Bob fought weak goals kind of went in. We'll just call it that way. Then, this second period, Boston had chance after chance after chance. at High-quality chances, breakaways, two-on-ones. Stretch pad, the worst defensive period I've seen us play in a while. And Bob, I can't praise the goaltender during a game. You know that rule. So we'll just leave it at the fact that somehow we dominated the first period and got down 2 nothing, And Boston kind of dominated-ish that second period. And it's 2-1. So don't ask me what's going to happen in the third period. I don't know. Let's move on. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's seven. That is seven out of 16. Okay, all right. I know that all anybody wants to talk about is what happened on the ice with the Bennett and the goal. So I'm just going to talk about that first, and then we'll talk about the game. Remember. I'm just a dude making videos in my basement, all right? If that had happened to my team, I would probably be apoplectic and screaming and talking about how the referee should be accountable and everything. Now, that's a call that Toronto makes. The guys on the broadcast said, you know, they were reading the rules and everything. I'm not a ref. My... Guess, my uneducated guess is that if you asked whoever it was in Toronto that was making the call, that they would either say it was because the defenseman skated into the crease on his own before the hit, or they didn't feel like Swayman would have been able to get to the puck either. Which, to be honest, Bennett didn't need to do that. He didn't need to do that because the defenseman had skated into the crease on his own, then Bennett hit him. If he doesn't hit him, I think like 99.9% .9 chance he's putting that back in the net. I don't think Swayman could have got over because the defenseman put himself into the crease. Did Bennett hit him? Yes. But the defenseman skated into the crease on his own. So I don't know what to say from I don't know what to say from there. I real I really don't. Obviously it's going to be a much discussed call. I, I am, I am, um, I keep it straight. What am I trying to say? If you watch any of my other videos over the course of the years, whether a call goes for my team or against my team, I am very much in favor of the referees having to be accountable. I'm always yelling about the refs. Somebody from the crew needs to be able to come out after the game. Like the players come out, the coaches come out. I think it would be... It would serve the league good. Well, I can't talk. I think it would be right to have the refs or a referee representative come out and answer questions so that we could ask the questions. Like, why Why was that not goalie interference? What did you guys see? What didn't you see? But that's not what we got. That's not the system we got. Maybe we'll get a statement from the NHL tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I'm happy my team won, and, and and I don't know what to say about it. You know what I mean? Um, you scratch that goal off, it's 2-2, and we're heading into overtime. 50-50 chance, maybe more than a 50 chance that for Hagee wins it in overtime. Um, we played, Panthers played a hell of a third period. Barkoff with the filthy, filthy game winner. 
And so let's just talk about the game a little bit. Um, I kind of felt like Boston, obviously, first period, come out. All they wanted to do was hit. They took Reinhardt, gave him a good hit, right? Uh, later on in the game, they actually did Kachuk. So they, they did their hitting. They definitely did their thing going after our guys. Um, it didn't cost them the first period because it was 2 nothing. Right? So that didn't really take him out of anything. Um, second period, Boston, I thought, had the better of play. We get the goal. And then in the third period, we just kept coming and coming and coming. And if you watch my series preview and you listen to what I've been saying, it's kind of the same thing with the Lightning. This team, the Panthers, are very, very well conditioned. Maurice came into the offseason, and I know that everybody has the reputation of we're dirty and all of that. But Maurice has been very specific about wanting to skate teams to death. They're very, very highly conditioned. So third period of a game like this where we had a week off and the Bruins have been every other night, they just Bruins just didn't have the legs. They just didn't have the legs. Um, I want to give Kyle Ocoso. Um, <laughs> Reinhardt takes a puck to the face. He goes immediately, and he never came back. So he has to have some kind of... He's going to have to have a cage and everything like that. They put Ocposo in the top line with ben, with um, Barkov and Tarasenko, and the dude looked good. He looked good. He looked good. Like, like, I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, right? So, I bitch about Ocposo because I'm trying to pitch him into a goal. He did get an assist, I believe, in the Barkov goal, um, but... The, to be able to have that kind of depth is just insane. And if anybody got dinged, we, like I said, we've got a whole fourth line ready to go on in the ice. Now, Ekblad took a really stupid penalty right towards the end of the game and gave Boston a 6-on-4 for like 35 seconds left. Stupid penalty because the puck gets sent around. Forsling's going to collect the puck. There's no reason to rub your man out along the boards there. He's not going to get to it. Four things right there. So Ekblad takes the interference penalty, and we just killed it. We just killed it, and it's a 3-1 series lead, and now we have an opportunity to close this out in five at home. Um, You kind of have to do that. You kind of have to close it out in five. If you, if you lose in five, or if you lose game five at home, now you got Boston thinking they could win game six. Next thing you know, we're seven games. And with the physicality of this series, we need to nip this in the bud at five. Okay, we outshot them. I think the second period shots were kind of even, but in the first and the third period, we significantly outshot them. We need to just maybe even get some fresh guys on the ice if we need some fresh legs, whatever whatever we need to do uh, Tuesday, right? Yeah, to, whatever we need to do Tuesday, just get out there. And just finish this series off because we should be able to. Um, Swayman played a hell of a game. Bubba, 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 Bubba allows two goals in the first two goals in the first five shots. Forget the first period. Two goals on five shots, and they weren't they weren't technically his fault. You would have liked to have been able to have a save on the second shot, um, but that was it. That's it. He closed the door. And he had to make some saves, and we had to have a little bit of luck, right? Yeah, but nobody ever wanna, nobody ever wanna play off game without any luck. At one point, Bob got beat five hole, and the puck just, just went wide of the post and did not go in. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, my heart it is still like the thump, the thump, the thump, the thump, the thump, the thump, the thump. That was, that was, because. Being the difference between two one and uh, the difference between being tied two two and being up three one is everything. It's everything. At two two, it's going seven. At three one, you can close out in five. And like I said in the last video, for the Panthers, the difference between five and seven could be the cup because there's only so many games our bodies, the players' bodies, can put up with the abuse that we're taking. Um. Now, Reinhardt seemed to be okay after that big hit in the first period. Uh, Lundell obviously got the first goal, so he was okay with the punch that Pasta gave him. Chucky got leveled on his shoulder. He looked like he was fine, so 
that uh, that was good to see. I mean, you know, Boston is is laying big hits on our guys, but we're winning the games. We're winning the games, and I know that there's going to be controversy about it. There's nothing I can do or say here. I've said for years. I think the referees should have to answer questions. Do I think it should have been called back? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I understand the people that feel like it should have been called back. But he did skate into the crease on his own. So maybe, again, I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate because of the call they made. But maybe their thought was because the defender skated into the crease, Swayman would not have been able to get back anyway because the, the hit was not necessary. What, what Bennett did wasn't necessary. The puck was right there. Swayman wasn't going to make it back because the defender was already there. I think that's what, they, that's what they would say if they would get up in front of the microphones and, and, um, and you know, answer questions. That's a judgment call. Obviously, Panther fans are going to think it's right. Bruins fans are gonna, and everybody else are going to think it's wrong. I, I get that. But again... I'm just a dude in my basement. The team don't even follow me on Twitter to give you an idea how much say I have around here. So, you know, it, it is what it is. I understand. Bud Series is 3-1, and, and, and that's, that's where we are. So, all right. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So, Rangers games tomorrow. Now, that's game five, right? Okay, so... Go Canes. Go Canes. Let them keep playing a little bit, right? It's not like the Canes are really getting all that physical with the Rangers anyway. But if they could go an extra day, give us a couple of days, you know. It looks like um, well, Colorado and, and, and Dallas might go seven. Vancouver and Edmonton, you don't know how long these series are going to go. And I know that you, want, you know that everybody's going to be done before... You know, they're not going to start the Eastern Conference Finals while the Western guys are still playing. So if we could finish ours in five, we would get some, you know, we would get a little bit of rest. And if, to be honest with you, it would kind of time out best. Maybe if we had like an extra day or maybe two extra days rest than what the Rangers are going to get. But we need it. The Rangers really don't need it. I haven't seen anybody hit the Rangers at all in these seven or eight games, however many of the games they've played so far, eight. Um, so we could use the other, you know, the extra couple of days of rest because that series, if that's the way it goes, that ain't gonna, that's going to be, hold on to your nuts. You know what I mean? That's, that's going to be a good series. So. All right, Panther fans. Series is 3-1. Last thing I'll say. It was 3-1 the other way last year with Game 5 in Boston. We know how that went. We need to finish this on Tuesday because that's really what Boston is probably going to tell themselves. They're probably going to say, look, we did it to them last year. I mean, it's the same thing in reverse. Last year we split in Boston, lost both at home. This year... We split at home and then won both in Boston. So it's literally the exact opposite so far. But we need to finish this on Tuesday. Thank you all for coming out to the stream. We had over 330 people at the end by the time the um, game was over. Kyle and I will be live tomorrow at noon. And the hits just keep on coming. We got Rangers Kings tomorrow night. Appreciate all the Super Chats. You guys have been showing us an amazing amount of support. So I really appreciate that. Bruins fans, I, I feel you. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I have no control. I don't know what to say. If you want me to say, I think it should have been called back. I don't know. I I want to know. I want more than anything. I want I you any of us would like the referee to come up there and be like, I'm the dude that made the call. And this is why I made the call. More than saying I think it should have this or you saying that that doesn't matter. What matters for, for the fans is learning, okay, why why did they say that? And then at least we know what we're agreeing with or disagreeing with. You see what I'm saying? Right now, it's just a bunch of conjecture. We don't know why. So maybe they'll come out and say something tomorrow. All right, appreciate all the support. I'll see you again tomorrow.